Persona 5 is one of the best JRPGs in recent years, and that's partly because it's unlike most JRPGs. You're in high school, in the prime of your youth. It would be a crime to deny yourself growth opportunities in knowledge and guts, among other personality traits. This is why we wanted to share 8 more tips on things we wish we knew before starting Persona 5. If you find this guide helpful, give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. While you're there, check out our History of Persona feature and our other Persona 5 guides, including our How to Capture Persona video. Let's hit the books! Tip 1. Make the most of your days. The life of a Japanese student is in all textbooks and classes on Saturday. In Persona 5, there's a surprising amount of free time. When used wisely, these breaks can be spent enhancing your attributes and tightening those bonds between you and your friends. The key is knowing what activities enhance specific traits and relationships. Here are a dozen examples. Ready? Craft lockpicks to boost proficiency. Become Takemi's clinical trial guinea pig for more guts. Answer questions correctly in class to boost your knowledge. Perform well in the batting cages to increase your proficiency. Give gifts to friends to strengthen your bonds. Become an inside source for a journalist to advance your devil arcana. Work at the beef bowl joint for more proficiency. Watch movies and DVDs to boost various attributes. Train to increase your max HP. And it takes a brave student to study after school, which is why not only do you get a knowledge boost, but also extra guts. Try to squeeze in as much as you can in the day because you'll never know when a story event unexpectedly jettisons you into the next day. On that note, here's tip two. Watch for day-specific events. As if careful planning of your week around dungeon time and leisurely escapades wasn't hard enough, you also have to worry about missing special days of the week where you can get bonus attribute boosts. Check the cafe telly on Sundays for bulk sales on useful items using Japan's version of QVC. Go to the bathhouse on Monday or Thursday for an added boost of charm. If you manage to form a relationship with Miss Kawakami and have at least level 3 guts, you can speak to her on the phone at the cafe on Fridays and Saturdays. Tip 3. Manage your dungeon progress. You learn early on there are deadlines for reaching the main treasure of each palace. What Persona 5 doesn't communicate clearly is that you have a reasonable amount of time to make progress without feeling rushed, allowing you to take a day off here and there. If you don't take your time, you can end up far from the closest save point and out of healing resources. Just remember that you can resume your palace infiltration at any safe room you've already visited. And there's no need to run through areas you've previously covered. If you're unsure how much longer you have before you reach the treasure, you can always have a powwow with your team or refer to any maps you find. That said, you shouldn't wait until the last minute to steal the hearts of evildoers. Which brings us to tip 4. Reach the treasure with 4 days left. As you get close to the heart treasure of each palace, give yourself a 4 day buffer from the deadline. You spend one day when you reach the treasure, another to send the calling card, and a third to steal the heart. You can't perform the last step on the day of the deadline because the police show up before you have a chance to infiltrate the palace. So plan ahead! But if you do fail, the game puts you back a week so you can try again. Tip 5. How to get a hold up. Holdups are essential in triggering negotiations with enemies. With enough persuasion, you can get them to join your motley crew of personas. To trigger a holdup, you need to beat up your opponents into a weakened state without killing them. Battles with one enemy type are especially easy since they'll be subject to the same weaknesses. Tip 6. Experiment with fusions before committing. Persona games are always awash in, well, personas. Given their imaginative and endearing character designs, there's the initial compulsion to collect them all. That said, you should not treat these ethereal sidekicks like Pokemon. The fusion system drives this point home, where you embrace life and death by sacrificing two personas to create a new one. You should try it often, especially since these executions often result in personas you've never seen before. You're not giving birth to these personas blindly. As you scroll down the list of pairs to sacrifice, you can view the resulting persona's stats and their initial set of spells. Take your time and compare all this info with personas you plan to keep. Having a diverse squad is key. Make sure to order the personas by level. That way you're not wasting time looking to fuse weaklings. Also, if you perform a network fusion, 
you'll usually get much better and stronger personas than regular fusion. Tip 7. Focus on revivals when medicine shopping. By the time you reach the second dungeon, your team is well staffed with healers, since On, Morgana, and your main hero can cast Daya. What you are short on are revival medicines. If you don't have any revival items when a party member gets knocked out, you'll have to wait until the end of the encounter to heal them, provided your team survives the fight. So visit the clinic and purchase revival items regularly. Tip 8. Listen to Morgana. Your trusty cat burglar is way more than an adorable party member who can transform into a getaway van. He is your de facto guide to the world of dark-hearted palaces. Yes, he can drone on from time to time, so it can be tempting to block out his tips. In the long run, though, it pays to listen. If not for Morgana, you may not have known about the many benefits of exploring Tokyo. That said, we are in all agreement that he is awfully bossy about your need for regular sleep. That's it for now. If you'd like to share your own tips, add them to the discussion below, or come find me at Twitter at Normal Mode. For more on Persona 5, be sure to like this video and subscribe to GameSpot. Thanks for watching.